Hey, it's random code here, and today I want to showcase the program I created, which is a quadratic equation calculator. And first, I'm just going to showcase how it works, and then we're going to talk a bit about the math and about the code. So, I'm going to just like solve, we get an error, because the input needs to be of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. And I then input some random numbers. Let's do 1, 1, and like my 2. And click solve. I get that we have two solutions. We've got a d value of 1, an x value, which is the first solution of 1, and a x2 value, which is the second solution of minus 2. And let's try another one just to see we can do some different stuff. If we instead do minus 2, did like plus 10. We get no solutions and a d value of minus 39. If we did 1, still no solutions, and we're just going to be moving our quadratic equation up and down. 2, we had a solution, 3, another solution, and so on. But let's have a look at the code. So, first of all, it's been set up with JavaFX, where we just have a very simple JavaFX setup. I did input field, a button, and output field, which is a text field and some. So our input field is a text field, our output field is a text area, and just have some text and my button as well. My input field have an ID, my output field have an ID, and my button got an on exit call. So just a pretty simple setup. Inside my controller, and then as mentioned, has my text field, my text area, and my button. Whenever I click my button, I start doing a lot of solving. But first, before we talk about what the button actually does and how it adds some text to our output, I would like to talk a bit about the math. And I think the math is always quite interesting and fun. But firstly, actually before the math, we have something even more interesting, that how we're actually finding our coefficients from our quadratic equation, I'm using a regex. And a regex is kind of like a complicated way of searching in text to find some information. I'm just gonna try to explain the basics of how this works. So let me just actually grab an example. Let's get this one, which I will use later as well. But when we input some text, first we have our text transferred to our find coefficients method inside our, when we click our button, we call the find coefficient method, which gives the method the text from our input field. And then we return a list of our coefficients, it's returned here. But first, just to find the numbers, a, b, and c in our quadratic equation, which is a, our b, and our c value. We use a regex, which allow us to kind of search for stuff and then group them and then find these elements from our grouped elements and then use them for something. Like in this case, calculate the solution of our quadratic equation. But firstly, these signs all have different meanings and they can actually get kind of complicated. And this is, this also looks a bit more troublesome because we need to cancel out our cancels. Because in Java, this um, backwards backslash actually cancel out something. So we need two of them to cancel out the fact that one cancels out something. But let's just go from the beginning. First, we have one group, which is looking for the first number. So simply, we're saying there might be a minus. So we look for minus and then question mark, which means there could be or could not be a minus. So we need looking before one, zero or one minuses. In this case, we do not have any. So that's fine. Then it still looks, then we look for D, a digit, a number, and the plus means that we can have one or more digits. So first group we're looking for plus my looking for minus. We don't have one, that's fine. We then look for a digit, then find a digit. And in this case it's just one digit. Could be more, but it's fine. So we just have a digit. Then we look for an X. Find an X. Then we're looking for square root of here and we look for our next grouped element which again could either be a plus or a minus in this case we have a plus and we then again have a digit then have an x and we then again have either a plus or a minus and then have a digit so in this case we're looking for some digits and we're getting either a plus or minus and either a plus and a minus. But because at this point it's a string, with then later we turn it into a double, just a plus or the minus would just be transferred from the string to the number and we would just very clearly have actually a number value 
which is either like plus 6 or minus 6, for example. We then use a matcher to get our regex to look at some text. So we have our matcher m, which takes a pattern that compile regex setup and then match our equation, which is our regex equation string. We then go through all of the matches, each of them, and like get our coefficients out, which is simply using a for i loop, and then through our matches and then put them inside our matches list. And then we return our list. Or if we have no matches, so in the case that it is not an quadratic equation, we just return null. And then we just do a null check in our basic solve function. So we simply check if it's not null, do calculations. If it is null, then we just simply print to our output field, input not valid, use the form, blah, blah, blah. And then we set the text of our input to the form we need. So what we did when we just click solve without having an input, for example, or if I just let any random stuff, solve, use this, use this. Then to the actual way we are solving, I'm just using the basic way of solving a quadratic equation. I would first have my coefficients, a, b, and c. Instead of having them in my array, I just transform them into a variable with the appropriate names. That makes it a bit easier to understand. Then to have a quadratic equation, we first need to find the d value which is a value that determine rather than if we have one solution, two solutions, or zero solution, no solutions. So to get a better understanding, I just want to show this picture. So we have our parabola with one solution. So at top touching, solutions, we're touching it twice, or zero solutions, we are above the x-axis. Or this could also be below. But that is calculated by getting this d value, which is b squared plus four times a times c. And I've been using the math, which is part of Java, that makes it a bit easier to get the power of stuff. So math that power of b, comma two to get the power square, minus four times a c, then calculates d. Then add d as the first part of our solutions array list. So we can get it later and showcase it in our solution field. Then if we have one solution, so if our d is equal to zero, which means we're just searching once like this. We can just use minus b over two times a, which is the quadratic formula, which technically says that we have our x values are equals to the minus b plus our square root of d. We can actually see down here minus b plus a square root of d over 2 times a. And that's what we're doing just for one equation. But because the square root of 0 is going to be 0, I just removed it up here. But for our two points of, so in this case where we're hitting twice, we can do minus b plus the square root of d and minus b minus the square root of d. And in this way we're calculating two solutions and then just adding them to our solutions Array list. And for all these values, I'm using method round and just rounding it to two decimals, which is possible by multiplying by a thousand and a hundred and dividing by a hundred. That's how it's rounding. So we need to add stuff and remove stuff to get actually enough stuff because we're technically just rounding to zero decimals. So if let's say the number is one point blah 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 blah. So if we want to just keep two decimals what round is doing is just removing everything like this but we want to keep two decimals we're then multiplying by 100 so we're removing the comma dot two places we're then removing everything and then moving the comma back over and in this way we're able to keep decimals so now we are able to check rather than we have one solution two solution and three solutions one solution, two solution, or zero solutions. In the case of zero solutions, we just return solutions only containing the, the d value. So inside solve, we're first creating a list of coefficients. We then take our coefficients and check if we actually have any coefficients. So if it's correct form, form of our quadratic function, we then create a list of the solutions. It's going to be containing either one solution, which is that there is no solution because the one solution is going to be containing is just the d value. Two solutions, which is one solution, so we have our d value and our one solution and our 
three solutions which contains our two solutions and our d value and we then simply just print them to our text field and as mentioned in case there's no solution just simply print not valid and tell them what to do so if you enjoyed this quick showcase please leave a like and subscribe and i wish you all a wonderful day